and welcome to our topic session um, for today. Uh, so this is understanding the world. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at different types of cloud. Um, we are also um, in this, I'm going to be using it as sort of like a little exercise. So this is actually going to be something that we're going to be asking you to do um, on a daily basis. So um, you might wonder what on earth uh, this thing is. Um, that is shown on the screen in front of you to the left. Um, basically, uh, this is a little guide um, that will help you to spot uh, the different types of cloud that are out there. And so the idea being, and you can find this in your class um, folders, is that uh, you cut out the middle bit, um, you can hold it up, you can look through it. Be really careful, guys, you must not look at the sun, okay? Obviously, if it's a really cloudy day, then you're not necessarily going to uh, know where it is. Um, if there aren't any clouds up there, which is very unusual, I'm looking outside um, at the moment, I can see just a tiny, tiny bit of cloud up in the sky. Um, although this morning it was very low cloud and it was very, very misty as well. Um, so we couldn't actually see the clouds that are higher up, but it's cleared up now to a nice sunny day. Um, I am recording this on Saturday morning, by the way, just in case you are wondering and in case the weather is very, very different when you are watching this. OK, so um, the session what we uh, that we're going to be having a little look at um, is going to be related to looking at um, and recording the types of um, cloud that you can see um, so the title is different types of clouds um, and the learning objective for this is i can state and record what type of cloud i can see okay um, and there's going to be a little bit of an extension related to this as well so your task for most of you is to use a cloud type identifier tool to say what type of cloud is in the sky and to make a record of the type of cloud uh, that you can see as well so um, for some of you it's just going to be going up and you've been able to sort of say to someone else what it is uh, that you can see um, or you know maybe pointing to the one so some of these um, have got some pretty tricky uh, uh, sort of names that are associated with them. Um, so we're not expecting you to be able to read those out. Um, you might be able to copy them, um, but if you can just point to them, then that is absolutely fine. Um, and uh, that will be really, really good. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to go through in just a moment. We're going to have a look at some of the different types of cloud. Um, so we are going to um, look a little bit closer. So different types of clouds tell us different things about the weather. We are going to look at the following categories, um, cirrus, cumulus, stratus and nimbus. And they're all different types or sort of like families or groups of cloud. Um, and actually, you know, if you get good at looking at the clouds, then uh, quite a few people um, can tell or can actually produce sort of like a short sort of weather forecast of what you know what they think is going to be happening with the weather um, on that day um, and I remember sort of certainly growing up myself that that's something that my uh, my dad could always do he could look up at the clouds uh, look up at the sky and sort of say oh okay right okay yeah and he would be able to tell roughly what was going to happen um, that day um, on most occasions Okay, so cirrus. So cirrus clouds are the highest form of cloud. Um, they look like paintbrush strokes across the sky. They are made up of ice crystals and are above 18,000 feet. That's really, really high up. Uh, they are normally white and predict pleasant weather. So if you see this type of cloud up in the sky, um, it's going to be nice and pleasant. So uh, spring, summertime, um, you can expect some nice warm weather. Uh, winter time, um, if you see this, you might expect some nice bright sunny weather um, like we've got at the moment on um, sort of Saturday. Uh, like I say, you know, this is when I'm recording it on Saturday and not any other day of the week. Um, so it might not be quite the same by the time uh, we get around to it. Um, anyway, so yeah, so these are um, a way of predicting pleasant weather. Um, obviously, when there's not very much cloud um, up in the sky on a winter's day, it can get quite cold, especially overnight. Um, cumulus. So cumulus literally means 
a heap or a pile. Cumulus clouds are known as fair weather clouds. They are fluffy, um, a little bit like cotton wool, and they tend to be seen on sunny days. Uh, most forms of cumulus clouds will not produce any rain or snow, and larger forms can produce some rain showers, but these tend not to be heavy. So you can see um, from this picture here that you can still see um, some sunlight coming through. You can still see some uh, blue sky above, and it looks uh, to me in this picture here as if they are coming uh, close to the end of the day. Maybe it's the beginning of the day, but I say probably the end of the day. Um, and there is uh, the sun is setting. If you have a little look at the water, you can see it's a little bit choppy, so it probably is a little bit windy in that picture as well. Not very windy, but a little bit windy. Okay, stratus. Uh, these are the most common form of clouds in Britain. They are low layers of cloud and tend to act as a block to the sun. Don't we know about it? Yeah, we definitely don't get as many sunny days as we would like in this country, do we? Uh, they are found up to 6,500 um, feet from the ground um, and they can be any shade from white to dark grey. They often mean rain, okay? Um, often mean rain. Now, if I'm looking at this picture here, I think that this picture, although these clouds are the most common form of clouds in this country, there is a couple of little clues that are telling me that this probably isn't uh, a picture that has been taken in this country. Um, and that might be something that some of you want to have a little look at. What are the clues? What are the little things that tell you that the picture probably isn't taken in this country. Anyway, that's a little aside. Um, and then if we have a little, a little nimbus. Uh, nimbus is a word which can be added to any other types of cloud, say um, e.g. so cumulonimbus. Uh, nimbus clouds um, are the clouds which bring snow and rain. Okay, so I know some parts of the country uh, today have had some snow. I think West Kingsdown, which is just up the road from the school, actually had some snow overnight, but that's because they're quite a bit higher up um, than um, we are in the, sort of the school area in Swanley. So um, those are your tips. Uh, so cumulonimbus, uh, cumulonimbus are storm clouds. Uh, they can reach enormous sizes and the rain they produce comes suddenly and dramatically. They're like, whoa! You know, uh, they also can produce snow or hailstones and cause thunder and lightning storms. Okay, um, in other countries they can even cause tornadoes. So you definitely don't want to get caught out um, in a tornado. You probably don't really want to get caught out in a thunderstorm either. Okay, so... Uh, got a little quiz for you here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring these questions a little bit bigger for you. So which type of cloud is the lowest lying? What is the name of the highest type of cloud? Uh, which type of cloud means there is a storm coming? What types of cloud, uh, What are clouds made up of? Uh, what do serious clouds look like? like. Okay, so I'm going to give you just a few moments to have a little think about that. Um, see if you can maybe say to someone else in the room with you, um, you know, some of the answers to these questions. Maybe you want to actually um, tell me in the comments um, or uh, a little bit later on in the week in the Zoom sessions whether you got any of the answers to this quiz correct. Anyway, so just going to give you a few moments where you can think about the answers to this. Okay, so how did you do? Uh, with this quiz. What we're going to do is we're going to have a little look across in a moment at some of the answers. So, which type of cloud is the lowest lying? That's the stratus. Um, what is the name of the highest type of cloud? Cirrus. Uh, what type of cloud means there is a storm coming? A cumulonimbus. 
uh, oh sorry, cumo nimbus, not nimbulus, nimbus. Okay, and those are the ones which are really sort of stacked up um, high. They're also ones which, um, just as a little strange fact for you, um, aeroplanes, don't see that many of them anymore, do we? But aeroplanes have to uh, try and avoid. Uh, what are clouds made up of? Okay, so clouds are made up of tiny droplets of water. In the higher forms of clouds, these drops can change to ice crystals. Okay. Um, and um, if you remember last week, looking back at the water cycle, and um, we can see that actually the water uh, just goes round and round in the cycle. Um, and uh, there was a video which we linked to earlier on um, last week, which basically let you know that the water that is on Earth is the same water that's been going around for thousands, millions of years you know, um, just round and round in a cycle. Okay, so uh, what do serious clouds look like? They look like paintbrush strokes in the sky. So if you imagine that you are sort of painting across um, in front of you, um, and then sometimes, you know, maybe doing white sort of paint onto a blue bit of card or, uh, you know, a black bit of card, and you can have that, and there'll just be like streaks of it going across, and then sometimes it runs out, and that's what they say it looks a little bit like. So, uh, main activity for you. Okay, so just going back to having a look at this one here, um, you can see, um, that uh, there is the picture there of um, your um, sort of uh, tool for helping you to gauge what type of cloud it is that is present. Um, earlier on, at the beginning of the session, I mentioned to you about being able to state um, which type of cloud um, is actually um, sort of shown up there. So this is a little extract. So this, so both the tool for identifying clouds and uh, the clouds diary can be found in um, the folders. Um, if you're looking at this later on in the week um, and you want to be able to do this, uh, and then this actually went into the folders on Monday. Okay, uh, so Monday the 11th of January. Um, your task will be to keep a diary of the types of cloud that are in the sky in the morning and the evening each day of the week. I have been really kind to you and I'm not expecting you to do this on Saturday or Sunday. So you can see you've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. So the morning, what type of clouds can you see? The evening, what type of clouds can you see? It might be that the type of clouds is exactly the same in the morning and the evening. Um, and because people are in different places, so those people who are in school, um, and then we've got people who are at home, um, you know, it might be that you actually have a different type of clouds over the top of you. So if when we get back to school, um, hopefully you bring these diaries in or you actually place them in the work folder uh, or maybe take a picture of them, get them emailed into school. Um, it might be that you've got a slightly different answer to someone else. It doesn't mean that you are wrong. It just means that there were a different type of cloud that was over the top of you at that moment in time. Um, some others, um, I'm extending it a little bit further. So you can see this looks almost exactly the same. Um, but can you make a note of the type of clouds in your cloud diary and also the weather conditions? So remember when we were looking at the clouds, sometimes we were saying, well, actually, there are different types of, um, you know, weather associated with each of the types of clouds that you might be able to see. So the morning clouds and weather, evening clouds and weather. Okay, so if you can do that, uh, make a little note of it for me um, and I would really um, appreciate that. Okay, so uh, just uh, sort of remember that um, it would be great um, to sort of like, you know, have you doing this. And this is a bit of work that you can pop out. It won't take you very long. So you can either say to someone um, what it is uh, that you have um, been able to find. Um, and that will be with the use um, of and the aid of your cloud spotting um, tool here. So remember this bit in the middle that is yellow will be the bit that you've cut out. So you'll be able to look around it and you'll be able to hold it up and have the frame around you. Okay. Um, 
record it in the diary, ask someone else to do it for you, or uh, you can just tell your grown up or adult who is around, or maybe your you know brother or sister is around. What type of clouds do you think it is? Um, if you can't read it, if you can't pronounce it, don't worry because it is tricky. I made a mistake a couple of times myself as well uh, with pronouncing uh, the names of the clouds. Um, you can just point to the one that you think it is and then maybe use that um, and copy that down um, because all of the words are actually written there for you um, and you can uh, sort of look to do that. So anyway, um, I hope that you found this fun. Remember, this is something for you to do is to keep the diary all the way through the week. Um, and then for those of you who are keeping the diary and saying what the weather is doing as well, we would really like it if you could um, do both of those bits there. Cool. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to leave you uh, just with this bit here up on screens just for a little while so you can double check it. Um, and remember, all of the resources to do this activity are in your Monday work folder, okay, if you are in phase two. Um, if you want to have a go at this and you're in phase one or phase three, um, email in and I can send um, or have arranged to have the resources put in your work folder or emailed out to you so that you can actually join in with this lesson or with this activity as well. Brilliant, great, thank you very much for joining us um, on this live lesson. Um, remember any queries, um, you drop us an email, you can put it in the uh, comments section um, on the class page. Um, and then later on in the week when we set up and um, send out the Zoom links, um, you will be able to have some opportunities to get some feedback from us um, as well as a staff team. Cool, brilliant. Thank you very much and I will see you hopefully or you will certainly see me in these videos, but hopefully I will get to see you again quite soon as well. Thank you very much for joining us.